What's up, hey, Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add eggs into your Omega Ruby and or Alpha Sapphire to play an exciting egg lock. If you don't know what an egg lock is, it's a variation of playing through a Pokemon game by exchanging captured Pokemon for eggs. There will be a full description of an egg lock and its rules in the description below if you'd like to learn more about that. Nevertheless, to do this you will need a homebrewed 3DS with access to two packs with the Save Data Manager application and PK Hex. If your 3DS is not homebrewed with two packs, you can learn how to do that by following my free and easy tutorial linked in the description below. Once you have that done, you must also get the Save Data Manager application and PK Hex, which you can learn how to do as well by following my tutorial linked in the description below. Finally, a huge shout out goes out to Hoodlum Scrafty for providing the eggs for this tutorial and once you're done here, you should definitely check out his channel linked in the description below for exciting and unique Pokemon content. I worked really hard on making this tutorial clear and easy to follow, so if you find it helpful, please leave a like as it's greatly appreciated. Now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, like I mentioned, you will need a homebrewed 3DS with access to two packs and the Save Data Manager application installed with PK Hex on your computer. If you have not done those things yet, then I highly recommend you check out my tutorials linked in the description below to learn how to do that. However, I just wanted to clarify something very quickly and that's that two packs is still working on the 10.0 update. If you're on any other update and you update to 10.0 with two packs already installed, you will still have access to two packs without adding anything else to your SD card by simply changing your DNS back to the DNS it's supposed to be. Nevertheless, to do this egg lock, make sure you have an Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire game. I would recommend that you start a new game and you get up to the first town with access to the PC box. Once you do that, open your save data manager and go to your Pokemon Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire by moving the D-pad, click A on it, and then click A to back up your save data. And then once you do that, hit X to exit, then hit start and A to reboot your device and get out of homebrew. Once you do that, take your SD card out of your 3DS and put it right into your computer. Once you have your SD card on your computer, we're going to go into our favorite web browser and paste in the URL the link that is in the description for the eggs. So we're going to go ahead and download a zip file that has all of the eggs that were provided by Hoodlum Scrafty. And once you download it, like I mentioned, it is a zipped file, so make sure you unzip it and get a folder that's labeled eggs, just like so. And this folder has over 900 eggs, which is insane. All these eggs were given to Hoodlum Scrafty by his amazing subscribers, so huge shout out to them. You can see their names in the file of the eggs, which is pretty awesome. Nevertheless, once you get this eggs folder, you want to drag it onto your desktop. Make sure you do this as it's very important. Once you drag the eggs folder onto your desktop, go ahead and open PK Hex. And once PK Hex is open, go ahead and open your save that we just imported into our SD card by hitting file open and then navigate to look in your SD card. Mine is called no name. Hit save data backup folder click on main and open your save file. So you'll know that this is your save based on the Pokemon that are on your box. Although if you started a new game, you probably won't have any Pokemon on your box and you can check your party. However, I recommend that you don't have any Pokemon in your box because once you go to tools and click load dump, hit yes and then select the eggs folder and hit okay. This will overwrite all of the Pokemon that are in your boxes for eggs. And if you get a error like I did just here just hit continue I'm pretty sure that only happens on Mac so Windows users should be fine but the error doesn't really matter because as you can see all of the eggs will go into your boxes and as you can see you literally have boxes upon boxes of eggs which is just insane like this will be more than enough eggs that you then you'll need for your egg lock but it definitely gives you a lot of options nevertheless once you have the eggs for your egg lock you'll also need the rare candies for your egg lock to level up the Pokemon that you get 
from the eggs to the level of the Pokemon you exchanged it for. So click on items and go to medicine and you're going to change one of the medicines that you have in your party to rare candy. It only works if you overwrite one of the current medicines you have for rare candy and then set it to 995. I know that I put 999 but once you hit save and if you go back into items you'll see that the PK Hex automatically sets it back to 995. So make sure you put rare candies in medicine over a medicine you already have set to 995, hit save, and then go to the SAV at the top right hand corner, select export SAV, then save that over your main save file in the same location that you opened it with, eject your SD card, and put it right back into your 3DS. So now, when we go back into our 3DS and open two packs, we're going to go into the save data manager application and import the save that we just put on our SD card from PK Hex with all the eggs and all the rare candies that you'll need for your egg lock. So once two packs opens for you and launches the homebrew application, you're going to scroll down all the way to the save data manager, click on it, find your Pokemon Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire by navigating with the D-pad, hit A to open it, and then select B to import your save data and hit X to exit. Once you do that, you can select start and reboot your 3DS out of the homebrew launcher. And when you open your Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, you'll see that it now has boxes upon boxes upon boxes of eggs and rare candies that you'll need to play your egg lock. Like I mentioned, there will be rules of the egg lock in the description below if you want to play it properly, but you can honestly do whatever the heck that you want with these eggs that are in your boxes. What you do does not concern me. However, I would like to mention that some of these eggs have been set to hatch in one step, which is pretty convenient, while others have not, which is pretty inconvenient. But nevertheless, it is what it is. Again, huge shout out goes out to Hoodlum Scrafty. This tutorial would not have been possible without him, so definitely check out his channel in the description below. But as you can see, in our medicine bag, we have all the rare candies that we need. And if we open the PC box, you'll also see that we have all the eggs that we imported into our save. And from here, you can begin to have fun venturing through Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire while playing through an amazing egg lock with tons of eggs that were provided by Hoodlum Scrafty. So anyways, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I hope that you can now enjoy Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire in a different style. And if you found it helpful, make sure to click that like button and subscribe for more awesome tutorials.